How's it going guys? Welcome to the third Arduino tutorial in which we're going to look at a very interesting device which is a shift, re shift register and in our case it's going to be the 74HC595 as you can see on the screen. So what this IC does is that it it is able to shift uh, multiple outputs so by using three pens on the Arduino we're able to control eight LEDs and to just give you an idea of what this IC can do. You have a small scrolling example for the eight LEDs on my breadboard. Um, for this particular tutorial you're going to need an IC, so a shift register. Um, the one that I'm using I'm going to link for to the data sheet down below. You can buy it almost anywhere. Uh, Sparkfun, Amazon, um, eBay, Digikey. Uh, you're going to need some jumper wires, as you can see I have a lot of them on my breadboard, you're going to need some current limiting resistors which we've discussed in a previous video, you're going to need a bunch of LEDs, um, these are just very basic LEDs, and you're going to need a breadboard as well as your Arduino. Without any further delay, let's take a look at the data sheet for our IC. Alright, so here's the data sheet for our 74HC595 uh, shift register, and as you can see we can find a bunch of valuable information. I'm going to post this link down in the video if you want to get a more detailed view. Um, you get all the pinouts, you get the layout for our device, uh, which pin goes where, but more importantly we get a description for every pin. So as you can see uh, we have these are Q1, Q2 uh, through Q7. Those are the pins that we're going to use to layer up the LEDs. Actually it starts with Q0 which is on the other side of the IC versus all the other ones. Um, but we got these these function descriptions uh, within this table which are going to allow us to basically configure the device as we want and you will see later on how we're going to program this based on these. But in a nutshell what you want to do is look at these different functions and decide what you want to do or what what you need the device to do. So in this case we would like to shift um, a value so in this case they're setting an input of high into the shift register and as you can see it says contents of all shift register stages are shifted throughout which means that basically you're cascading um, each element into the next one and shifting a new one into the shift register. Also the very important function is as you can see contents of shift registers are transferred to the storage register and parallel output stages. What that means is um, you have shifted in your values at this stage but you need to out actually instruct the device to output what you want so basically the final result uh, to light up the LEDs. Uh, and the way this table works as you can see they have a description of what's going on so here it's if you go from low to high voltage on your SHCP pin um, and you're going to keep these as they describe, you're going to execute this function. And in this case, if you go from low to high on the STCP pin, you're going to execute this instruction. So this is obviously very important and it's going to play an important role in the programming for this device. Um, lastly, what else do we want to see? Um, also from this diagram we can notice that the enable pin is basically just allowing us to either display the basically have an output or not have an output also the MR the master reset pin has to be um, c has to be constantly high for us not to reset the values completely so those two pins could just be a a set value in our case and we don't need to worry about them so in an, uh, essentially we're going to be using three Arduino pins to control eight outputs or eight LEDs in this case alright so let's start writing the software alright so let's start defining our three pins the first one is going to be the DS pin so DS pin let's set it up on pin 8 of the Arduino and STCP and once again all these pins are defined in the in the data sheet so if you want to reference anything back and um, 
see what they do for yourself feel free we are going to declare our setup so this is as usual you always have to do this for the Arduino <coughs> pin mode all of these pins are going to be um, outputs obviously output that's DCP that's HCP we're going to declare a um, function so write reg function we're also going to set up a registers um, array of eight since we're gonna have eight pins what else um, so let's declare our function write reg okay so in this function what we're gonna start with is digital write SHCP pin to low what this does is um, we're gonna start basically initializing all of our uh, registers one by one so we're gonna set this pin to low we're gonna declare a for function in which we're going to declare I is equals to seven so we're going to insert register I mean register values in a reverse order get to zero minus, minus. so in this for loop we're going in this for loop we're going to shift in the value that we have stored in the registers array one by one so in order to do that we, we will start by by a digital write of the STCP pin low we're going to write the um, value of the register so in this case digital write um, the S pin and here we're gonna pull the value of the register so right registers I and then digital write STCP pin to high so as you can see we're creating the sort of low to high transition here So STCP goes low and STCP goes high, and this is this is what I mentioned in the data sheet that we're trying to get that transition to call that basically function of the IC, and we're gonna close the function with a SHCP pin to high. So once again, anything in between these two you get the transition of the SHCP pin from low to high so this is gonna basically save our values and output them onto the register so as always void loop get open close and in our case I mean I created a very simple um, double for loop which will cascade the LEDs so let's just do that and I equals zero I smaller than nine I plus plus um, within the for loop what I'm doing basically is declaring registers high one by one so registers I is equal to high followed by a delay followed by a uh, registers sorry 
write reg. So our function, which is going to write the set registers, and another for loop, which is going to be int i equals eight. So obviously you want to reverse the LEDs um, so to make that like wave pattern. I bigger than zero. I plus plus. Open, close. Let's just right close. Yeah, close the for loop. Okay. And here it's going to be basically the opposite. So registers I low, delay 100, and write to register. Let's see if we get any errors. Digital write, uh, right. There we go. Okay, so that works. Let's upload it to the Arduino. And we're going to take a look at what we've got. Alright, so I just wanted to take a look at the circuit that I've built and sort of explain what's actually going on. So as you can see on the right, we have the, the IC and we have the connections that are made to the Arduino. So um, obviously your VCC, your ground, you have to connect them. So ground VCC. Um, the master reset, as I explained earlier, has to be pulled high in order for us not to basically clear the, regi uh, the register. So that's just permanently pulled up. Uh, the pin that's grounded is um, here. It's the, the enable. And if you look in the data sheet, it's an inverted pin. So that's why it's grounded It's instead of pulled up. But in reality, it's it's actually being pulled up inside the shift register. Um, all the other the other eight Q um, Q zero to Q seven pins are connected to an LED through a current limiting resistor. And uh, I've explained how, like how to calculate these values before. So if you want reference those tutorials, um, the pins eight nine ten are our um, well Arduino pins eight nine ten are connected to. SHCP, STCP, and um, the DS pins. So we're inputting the register value through the DS pin, and we're toggling these um, inputs uh, in order to perform certain functions described in the upper in the data sheet for this device. So let's take a look at the actual circuit and um, how it performs. All right, so as you can see, the breadboarded circuit, um, we have all our, this is Q0, that's going to the first LED, and this is Q1 through Q7, which goes to each LED. They're all plugged in uh, with a series resistor, and all of them are grounded, just like I explained in the schematic. Uh, we got power and ground going to the Arduino board, so the white wire here it's the ground, the red is the power, and we have three control wires going back to the Arduino pins 8, 9, and 10. And as you can see, we are shifting through our LEDs, and they're going up one by one, then going down just like we wrote in the software. Um, so feel free to modify the software, showcase what you've got, um, let me know if you have any questions, make sure to comment, um, subscribe, that would be very helpful and let me know what you what else you would like me to make in the following tutorials thank you guys very much hopefully you enjoyed this uh, third tutorial thanks bye